magnify God and his son, Jesus Christ, the name that has been given to us. So there is salvation in no other name except the name of Jesus. And in that name, uh, we must be saved. I love the name of Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I love you, my Father in heaven, almighty God. Let's go ahead and just thank God. Give him thanks, give him thanks. Glory be to you, our Father. We exalt you, we magnify you. We thank you, almighty God, for this opportunity for us to come together, to worship you, to honor you, to praise you, to, to, to just thank you and to be blessed by you mightily, to pray to you, the God who answers prayer. To you, our God, be all glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Straight away, we'll take our opening prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for giving us this platform to gather together today in your name. And Lord, we thank you for all that you have ordained to do in our lives. And so, Heavenly Father, we hand over this meeting to you. And we ask, Lord, that you will take preeminence and you will take all glory. That everything that we will happen here today, Lord, be by your presence, by your spirit, be to your glory, be by your doing in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, we just return all glory to you, our heavenly Father, and to you, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Oh, brothers and sisters, welcome to day five of this special end year program tact time of refreshing time of refreshing this is our uh, program the program will run quarterly and this is the one for the, the last one for this year 2022 and with a special focus god of new beginning god of new beginning and we have said and we have discovered by the word, the scripture, that our God is the God of new beginning. By what he has done, he is the God of new beginning. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And so, right away, we want to look at today's focus. Day five focus is exercising your faith, my faith, for healing, deliverance, miracles, and all blessings in the name of Jesus. Exercising my faith, your faith, our faith for healing, deliverance, and miracles, signs and wonders. Every blessing that God has promised us. It is time to exercise our faith. Glory be to God. And you remember I shared with us about the article uh, that uh, the e, uh, E.W. Kenyon's ministry wrote titled uh, Faith in My Faith. Faith in My Faith. So you have your faith. I have my faith and our collective faith. Oh, so today the three will combine and it's powerful. When your faith, my faith combine to operate, glory be to God, exercising my faith. Faith. In fact, I, I love referencing E. Uh, w. Kenyon on faith. There was a very simple analogy he made. Faith, belief, and the 
action or the um, um, result of faith. Remember, I told us about the three parts of faith, three parts of faith, the three components of faith before. You can look at our studies and the video in a part. But he said something very simple. He said, faith is a noun. Belief is a verb. Belief and faith go, to, go, to, uh, go together. And so when you believe God, his word, and his word, you believe God, you believe his son, Jesus Christ, and his word, then you have to take action. It is the action of faith that is belief. And when you take the action, the result that comes is the product of faith. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that a powerful revelation to grasp? Belief the act is the verb, is the action you take for the faith you have <clears throat> in God. Faith is the noun. Belief is the action. So, today we are here to exercise our faith in God. His word, his word, and you know the word of God is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. John chapter 1 says, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God. Goes in verse 14, he said, the word became flesh and dwelt amongst us. Hallelujah. So I want to exercise. We are here to exercise our faith in God, in his son, Jesus Christ, his word, the word of God. And what does the word of God say about the what we are, the promises of God to us? Let's start by looking at Matthew chapter 8, Matthew chapter 8, verse 16. Matthew chapter 8, verse 16. Just open and look at it. Let's start there. Matthew chapter 8, verse 16, Jesus himself. The Bible says, when evening had come, they brought to him many who were demon-possessed. And he cast out the spirit with a word. How did he do it? With a word. And healed all who were sick. He cast out demons. With a word, he cast out spirits with a word and healed all who were sick. Glory be to God. The word, the word of God. If we go further, the book of Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 66, verse 2. I'd like us to just speak that we must have faith in God, in his son, Jesus Christ, and the word of God. And what the word has said is that in the name of Jesus, whatever we ask, we receive. That's what the word has said. And it is true. So God has put everything that we need in the word. God has put everything in, uh, in the name of Jesus. And the word has said so. Whatever God has said, if you believe God, take the action, which is faith, the demonstration of your faith, then you will see the result. Isaiah chapter 66, verse 2. I want us to read the B part, the B part. Okay, let's read the whole verse 52. Verse 52. It said, For all those things, all those things my hand has made, and all those things exist, says the Lord. 
but on this one will I look on. But on this one will I look on him who is, my translation here says on him who trembles at my word and of a contrite spirit of him who is broken and of a contrite spirit and who trembles at my word. Is that part B I want us to look at? If we look at the English Standard Version and New International Version, it says, but this is the one to whom I will look. He who is humble and contrite in spirit and trembles at my word, trembling at the word of God. The word of God is key in exercising faith. Oh, you remember the Bible says, faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Faith come, comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And so here, Isaiah chapter 66, verse 2, B part, it says, it is this, but this is the one to whom I will look. God is the one speaking and say, this is the one I will pay attention to. This is the one I will listen to. He says, but on this one will I look in the New King James Version. On this one will I look. On this one will I listen to. On this one will I pay attention to. He who is humble and contrite in spirit and trembles at my word. At my word. NIV says, these are they, these are they, or these are the ones I look on with favor. These are the ones I look on with favor. Glory be to God. Those who are humble and contrite in spirit, that is, contrite in spirit is broken, the word I used before, and who tremble at my word. Trembling at God's word. Hallelujah. It is by believing God, believing his son Jesus Christ and his word. And I've said the word says simply that the name of Jesus is the means by which we ask anything and we receive. Glory be to God. And so we've seen there in Matthew chapter 8, Jesus healed, cast out the devil by a word, by a word, by a word. In Matthew chapter 8, the same Matthew chapter 8, if we come down uh, to verses 10 and 11. You remember the centurion that came to Jesus and said to Jesus, come and heal my servant. My servant is lying at home, paralyzed, dreadfully tormented. Come and heal him. He's the one who said to Jesus, Oh, in fact, he just made the request to Jesus. He came to Jesus and made the request. He just told Jesus, Lord, my servant is lying at home, paralyzed, dreadfully tormented. It was Jesus that offered because Jesus is always willing. It was Jesus that offered and said, I will come and heal him. But the centurion said, Lord, I am not worthy that you should come under my roof. That's verse 8. From verse 10, uh, verse 9 and 10, it says only speak the word. Speak a word, verse 8, but only speak a word. And you continue in verse 9, it says, for I am a man under authority. I say, go to, I say to one, go, and he goes to another, come, and he comes. 10, Jesus heard it, and he marveled. And said to those who followed, as surely I say to you, I have not found such great faith, not even in Israel. And he spoke a word. Hallelujah. Verse 11. 
He said, and I say to you that many will come from east and west, and then we jump to verse 13. Then Jesus said to the centurion, go your way as you have believed. Did you see that? Jesus said he has not seen such faith. That is the now. Not even in Israel. That is in verse 10. And then in verse 13, he says, go your way. And as you have believed the action of faith, so let it be done for you. Let it be done for you. My love, believe God. Believe his son, Jesus Christ. Believe the word of God. And the word says that whatever you ask in the name of Jesus, you have it, you have the answer, you have the result, you have your healing, you have your deliverance, you have the miracles. It is in the name of Jesus, brothers and sisters. Everything has been packed there for us by the word of God. So Jesus Christ, quickly, let's just look at one demonstration in Matthew chapter 17, Matthew chapter 17, glory be to God. If we start reading from uh, verse 14, Matthew chapter 17, from verse 14, let's read. I say, and when they had come to, and when they had come to the multitude, a man came to him, kneeling down to him and saying, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is an epileptic and suffers severely, for he often falls into the fire and often into the water. 16, so I brought him to your disciples, but they could not cure him. 17, then Jesus answered and said, oh, faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I bear with you? Bring him here to me. Hallelujah. How did Jesus do it? 18, and Jesus rebuked the demon and it came out of him and the child was cured from that very hour. Then the disciples came to Jesus privately and said, why could we not cast it out? 20. So Jesus said to them, 20, the last verse that we read, because of your unbelief, for as surely I say to you, if you have faith as a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move, and nothing will be impossible for you. Hallelujah. So faith, exercising my faith, exercising your faith is to believe God. Believe in Son Jesus Christ. Believe the word, what God has said. Glory be to God. So let's quickly look at the disciples. How did they do it? The apostles in Acts chapter 4, Acts chapter 4. Verse 24, let's start reading from verse 24. So when they heard that, they raised their voice to God with one accord and said, Lord, you are God who made heaven and earth and the sea and all that is in them. Remember, Jesus has demonstrated how it is done and now handed over to us. And as it starts, I think, let me take a break, okay? We'll, we'll go back, Mark chapter 16. And so we'll see how the apostles did it. Believing the word, believing God and his son, Jesus Christ, believing his word, having faith in God. 25. All right, I start at 24 again. So when they heard that, they raised their voice to God with one accord and said, Lord, you are God who made heaven and earth and the sea and all that is in them, who by the mouth of your servant David said, why did the nations rage and the people plot vain things? The kings of the earth took their stand and rulers were gathered together against the Lord and against his, and his Christ, his anointed which you see in the Psalm 2, 1 and 2, 27. For truly, against your holy servant, Jesus, whom you anointed, both Herod and Pontius Pilate, with the Gentiles and the people of Israel, were gathered together to do whatever your hand 
and your purpose determined before to be done. 29. Now, Lord, look on their threats and grant to your servants that with all boldness they may speak your word. They may do what? Speak your word is always about the word of God, brothers and sisters. I always say there is no miracle without the word of God. It is by the word. God spoke everything into existence by the power of his word. He has sustained all things. Jesus Christ, as we have seen, cast out devil by the word. Healed the centurion's uh, as a, a servant by the word. Healed the epileptic child by the word. Glory be to God. 30. They continued. They said, by stretching out your hand to heal. Did you see that? By stretching out your hand to do what? Read it with me. Uh, Acts chapter 4, verse 30. By stretching out your hand to heal. And that signs and wonders may be done. How? Through the name of your holy servant, Jesus Christ. It is in the name of Jesus. Acts chapter 4, Acts chapter 4. Very quickly. Acts chapter 4, if we look from verse 7 to 14, you know um, what preceded this. Verse 7, it says, And when they had set them in the midst, they asked, By what power or by what name have you done this? By what power, by what authority, by what name have you done this? This was about the lame man that was healed at the gate called Beautiful. And they asked the apostles, Peter, James, John, and the rest, by what power? And hear their answer. Verse 8, then Peter filled with the Holy Spirit said to them, rulers of the people and elders of Israel, if we this day are judged for a good deed done to a helpless man, by what means he has been made well, let it be, made, let it be known to you all and to all the people of Israel that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, by what power, by what authority, how was this done? By the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead. By him, this man stands here before you whole. Oh. Beloved, there is power that heals. And that power is in the name of Jesus. There is power that delivers. And that power is in the name of Jesus. As you have seen there in Acts chapter 4, don't forget it, verse 30. The apostles, they cried to God. He said, by stretching out your hand to heal. And that signs and wonders may be done through what? the name of your holy servant, Jesus. And so when we call and ask anything in the name of Jesus, Jesus takes over and does exactly as he did when he was physically here, because Jesus is now with us. Hallelujah. His name is Emmanuel, the one who walks in the midst of the seven golden lampstand, which represents his church, as far his body, all those who have come into him, come to God through Jesus Christ. Jesus is here right now. Jesus is with you. Jesus is with me. And so you remember in Acts chapter 3, if we just go, jump to verse 6, then Peter said, silver and gold I do not have, but what I do have, I give you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Rise up and walk. 
And he took him by the right hand and lifted him up, and immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength. So he, leaping up, stooped and walked and entered the temple with them, walking, leaping, and praising God. Beloved, there is nothing impossible with in the name of Jesus. God has given us the name that is above all names. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow, of those in heaven, of those on earth, of those beneath the earth, and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. By the name of Jesus, that we should receive healing in our own self, signs and wonders be performed in this name, and that through us, in the name of Jesus Christ, signs and wonders, healings, deliverance be performed in the lives of others. And that's what we have come to do here today. So let me summarize that Acts chapter 4, verses 24 through uh, 30. 24 through 30. So here you would see what the apostles did. Number one, they called on God. They called on God. Number two, they provided their basis by the word of God. Remember in verse 25, they say, Who by the mouth of your servant David have said, Why did the nations rage? They provided their basis of faith, the word of God. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. It is not your word, it is not my word, but what God has said. They said to God, who made the heaven and the earth and the sea and all that is in them? Who by the mouth, who God by the mouth, you spoke through your servant David. This is what you said. They provided the basis. And it's by the word, the scripture. And then number three, they asked according to that word, the word of God what they wanted. They asked what they wanted. What did they ask? God, stretch out your hand and perform miracles, signs, and wonders, healings, and give unto us boldness to speak the word. And then number four, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And so, brothers and sisters, it's time to exercise your faith it's time for me to exercise my faith, our faith in God, his word, and in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Have faith in God, Jesus said. Mark chapter 11, verse 22. So it is time. It is action time to pray. Are you ready to pray? Oh, glory be to God. So let's just start by thanking God. For what he has done. It's not going to be long. As you've seen it. There is only one prayer point, And you just pray till you exhaust your own requests. But raise your hand. Your voice with me and say. Our heavenly father. Thank you for all your goodness. Towards me. My family. Your children. All over the world. And my nation, thank God for your own nation. Thank God for your own community. Thank God everywhere you are is because of God's goodness that we are alive today. God will thank you for your goodness towards me. But thank you, Lord God Almighty, my heavenly father, our heavenly father. We thank you for your goodness towards our families. We thank you for your goodness towards all your children all over the world. And we thank you, Lord God Almighty, for your goodness towards our nation, our community. To you be all glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Go ahead and say, Heavenly Father, thank you for the blessings and healings, deliverance, and diverse provisions which you have given to us through the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. We thank you, Almighty God, for the blessings, healings, deliverance, and diverse provisions Miracles, signs, and wonders which you have given to us through the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. We thank you, Almighty God. Thank you, Almighty God. Glory be to your holy name. Go ahead again and say, Heavenly Father, 
we thank you. O oh God of new beginning, for this time of refreshing, we thank you for this special program, this time of refreshing program, and for the success of days one to four, for all you have done for us. We thank you for the spirit of grace and supplication you have poured upon us. We thank you, almighty God, for the revival that you have given to us, reviving and anointing us afresh and new with your Holy Spirit. We thank you, almighty God, for every evil trigger that you have destroyed in our lives. We thank you, our God, that you have renewed us. We have renewed us by your Holy Spirit. We thank you. Thank you for the gifts of the Holy Spirit that you have given to us. And thank you for the manifestation of the gifts of the Holy Spirit in our midst. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, our Father and our God. Blessed be your name. Go ahead and tell him, Heavenly Father, God of new beginning, thank you for this day five. Thank you for all that you have ordained to be in our lives today. Thank you for how you have helped us, the strength you have given us to wait upon you till this moment. Lord, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you, Lord. To you be all glory, our Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Now raise your voice with me and say, O oh God of new beginning, the omnipotent God, perform all your healings, deliverance, miracles, signs and wonders in my life and family and upon everyone that is participating in this program right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Go ahead and pray. Pray that prayer, pray that prayer. Oh God of new beginning, the omnipotent God, perform all your healings, deliverance, miracles, signs and wonders. In my life, in my life, in my life, right now, right now, right now, let the healings take place. Let the healings take place. Let the deliverance take place. Let the miracles take place. Let signs and wonders take place in my life now. Take place in my family now. Take place in the life of all my brothers and sisters, everyone that is connecting upon this program right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Let it be so. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Now go ahead and pray and say, Oh God of new beginning, your mini potent God, go ahead now and ask specific area, ask for uh, in, in specific areas of your desire, areas of your need. Go ahead and ask. Go ahead and ask. Go ahead now and pray for yourself. For the next uh, three minutes, pray for yourself. Ask. Ask in the name of Jesus. Whatever you ask in the name of Jesus, by the unfailing word of God, Jesus has promised that he will do it. The Father will do it. Go ahead and ask. Go ahead and ask. Go ahead and ask. Go ahead and ask. Oh, what a great promise. What a faithful promise. Whatever you ask in the name of Jesus, God has put every healing in that name, every power to heal in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, he has already healed you by the stripes. And Jesus said, once you then ask in my name, I take it over and it is done. In the name of Jesus Christ, go ahead and ask, what are your desires? Today is for you. It's for you. It's for you. Go ahead and ask for specific areas of your desire in the name of Jesus Christ. Speak and stand upon the word of God and declare it done in the name of Jesus Christ. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray for yourself. Pray, pray in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Don't let anybody cheat you. 
miracle, signs and wonders is your own birthright. It belongs to you. It belongs to me. It belongs to us. In the name of Jesus, you seen that the apostles, they said, God, stretch out your hand to heal, to deliver, and wrought miracles, signs and wonders. In the name of your son, Jesus Christ, go ahead and ask. And they ask them, by what authority, by what power that have you done this thing? And they said, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, the apostles understood what Jesus said. If you ask anything in my name, if you ask anything in my name, I will do it. And then he went further and said, if, when, if you pray, when you pray to the Father and ask anything in my name, he will do it. And I've explained the truth to us. Go ahead and ask. Ask. Ask according to the word of God. Produce your basis by the word of God. The word of God says by the stripes of Jesus Christ, you were healed. Produce your basis and ask in the name of Jesus Christ. Stand upon the word. Stand upon the word and declare it. Done in the name of Jesus Christ. Stand upon the word. First Peter chapter 2, verse 24. It says, Who himself bore our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, having died to sins, might live for righteousness, by whose stripes you were healed. That's the same scripture in Isaiah chapter 53. It says there, by whose stripes we are healed. It was the prophecy. It has been fulfilled. You were healed. And so I decree in the name of Jesus. And I declare you healed by the stripes of Jesus. I declare myself healed. We are healed by the stripes of Jesus. Go ahead and pray for yourself. Pray for yourself. What do you desire? What do you desire? Receive it now in the name of Jesus Christ. Go with me to Mark chapter 16. Mark chapter 16. Let's look at verses 17 through 20. 17 and 18 are our anchor verses. Let's read it together. Produce your basis. If you can believe the word and make the word your reality, in the name of Jesus, every word of God shall manifest in your life. Mark chapter 16, verses 17 and 18, then we'll add 20, 19 and 20. Let's read together. And these signs will follow those who believe. In my name, they will cast out demons. They will speak with new tongues, and they will take up serpents, and if they drink anything deadly, it will by no means hurt them. They will lay hands on the sick, and they will recover. We're going to start in that order. In fact, in that order, you remember the child, when Jesus cast out the demon, the child became healed. We're going to start in that order. Raise your voice with me to heaven. Mark chapter, uh, Matthew chapter 8, verse 16, you saw. He cast out spirits by a word. With a word. With a word. Raise your voice with me. And say, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I cast out. And terminate today every work and activity of the devil in my life. Cease and stop. I cast out every devil, every contrary spirit that is not the Holy Spirit, 
in my body, in my soul, in my in my spirit, in my uh, business, in my career, in my work, in my family, in anything that concerns me, I cast you out, devil, and I command every activity of the devil to cease right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. It is done for you. It is done for me. And we agree. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Pray again with me. And, and say in the name of Jesus. Whatever serpent. Whatever a, a scorpion. Whatever lion. The ramifications of the activities of the devil has been playing around in my life. Right now, I cast you out and I terminate your work, your effect in my life. For it is written, I will take up serpents. And if I drink anything deadly, it will by no means hurt me. So every satanic deposit in my body, soul, and spirit in my family, in anything that concerns me. I cast you out and I terminate you now in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and terminate it, terminate it, terminate it, terminate it. Every manipulation in the dream, every satanic symbol, every satanic token, everything that is not of God in my life, in my family, in your life, in your family, in all aspects of your life, whatever they may be, in the name of Jesus, they cease to walk, they cease to function right now. In the name of Jesus, whatever satanic deposit is, has been troubling your body, whatever has been pumped into your body, in the spiritual, in the physical, right now they cease to walk. If I drink anything deadly, it will by no means hurt me. It will not harm me. In the name of Jesus, it will not harm you, says the word of God. In the name of Jesus, I shall take up serpents in plural, serpents. And the Bible says in Luke chapter 10, verse 17 and then verse 19. Verse 19, it says, Behold, I give you power. I give you authority to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all power of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means hurt you, hurt me, hurt us. So we stand upon the word of God and we are known. Every power, every walk of scorpions, of serpent, of lions, the, all the ramifications of the devil and all power of the enemy, the devil, we are known. They are useless, they are powerless in the name of Jesus. For it is written, I shall tread upon serpents and scorpions, and I shall cast out devil. I shall cast out demons. If I take, I shall take up serpents. If I drink any deadly thing, that thing that you were given to drink in the dream, that food you were given to eat in the dream. I announce to you, according to the word of God, in the name of Jesus Christ right now, I pass it out of your body. It is useless. It is powerless. It ceases to work. It ceases to function. No poison of the enemy shall work anymore in your body. It shall not work against you anymore. It shall not work against you. It shall not work against you. According to the word of God, in the name of Jesus Christ, it shall not work against me, it shall not work against my family, it shall not work against any one of us and all our families and everyone that is connected here, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And then it says, I will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. So finally, Put your hand upon your forehead. If you're sick, put your hand upon your forehead and pray with me. And say, in the name of Jesus, every sickness, disease, infirmity in my body, go now in Jesus' name. For I have been healed by the stripes of Jesus. 
I have been healed by the stripes of Jesus. And right now, I declare my body healed by the stripes of Jesus. No sickness, no disease, no infirmity can stay any longer in this body. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And as you put that hand, as you put that hand, we agree together. Let it be done in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now there are other miracles that you need. Go ahead now and pray to God. Go ahead and present it again. Present it. Present it to God. Present those. There is nothing too hard for our God to do. Nothing. Nothing, 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 nothing. So go ahead and present it to God. Go ahead and present your needs, your desires to him. Go ahead, go ahead. In Jeremiah chapter 32, verse 17, Jeremiah said, Ah, Lord God, behold, you have made the heavens and the earth by your great power and outstretched arm. There is nothing too hard for you. There is nothing too hard for our God. It's a light thing for God to do anything. And before Jeremiah made this statement, Jeremiah was locked, locked up in the prison. But the word of God went to Jeremiah and said, you will Purchase a land, and you will declare, say, the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah from the Lord in the tenth year of Zedekiah, and said to him, you will purchase uh, the, the land, your, uh, your nephew will bring the land document, and you purchase it. Jeremiah is in the prison, and yet all that happened. When it happened, Jeremiah said, ah, Lord God, behold, you have made the heavens and the earth by your Great power and outstretched arm. Nothing is too hard for you. There is nothing. It's a light matter. It's a light matter. It's a light matter. It's a light matter. For thus says the Lord God, the Lord of hopes, the God of Israel, houses and fields and vineyards shall be possessed again in the land. They have gone to captivity. But everything God told Jeremiah as a sign happened. And Jeremiah said, God, nothing is too hard for you. Beloved, there's nothing too hard for our God to do. So bring your request to a close now and seal it up in the name of Jesus Christ. I want us to read that name again. In that Acts, Acts chapter 4. Acts chapter 4. I don't know if you read this scripture as often as I do. It is my anchor scripture. And it should be for every child of God. Verse 12. Acts chapter 4 verse 12. Nor is there a salvation in any other. For there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. Must. There is a name by which we must be saved. It is a must that you are saved by this name. It is a must that I am saved. You know, when we're talking about being saved here, it's not just being saved from sin only. It is being saved and saved totally. Wherever you are, anything undesirable in your life, you are saved by that name. Raise your voices to, with me to heaven and say, Heavenly Father, I thank you for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which I must be saved except the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, I declare according to the word of God that I am saved. I am saved. I'm saved from all evil. 
I'm saved from sin. I am saved from the power of darkness. I am saved from every calamity. I am saved. I am saved from all oppression. I am saved. I am saved. Go ahead and declare the salvation of the Lord that God has given to you in the name of Jesus. I am saved. I am saved. I am saved. My family is saved. My wife is saved. My children are saved. In this year, 2022, whatever evil plot that it may be, we are saved. You are saved. I am saved. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runs in and they are saved. Yes, that name of Jesus is our strong tower. The name of our God is our strong tower. We run in, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, the only name given under heaven that we must be saved. There is no other name. There is no other name. There is no other name. There is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. Only the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we are saved. No calamity shall befall you. No calamity shall befall your family. No calamity shall befall me. No calamity shall befall my family. For it is written, there shall no evil befall thee. Neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. There shall no evil befall me. Neither shall any plague come nigh my dwelling. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Go ahead and present your requests before God as we are about to round off now. This is how we exercise our faith and by the authority given to us in the name of Jesus. You will continue to do this even after we have closed and continue to do it. It is the formula that has been given to us. The apostles understood the power in this name and they used it aggressively. You must learn to use it. Don't let the name of Jesus become ordinary name in your mouth. It is the name, the only name that everything we need, all the power, the blessing has been loaded. There is power in the name of Jesus. Thank you, our Lord and our God. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. And in Jesus' name, we have agreed. And in Jesus' name, we have confessed and declared according to the word of God. And so let it be in our lives. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for how you have been with us. We we'll thank you for the healings, deliverance, miracles, signs, and wonders that you have performed in our lives. And we return all glory to you. We return all praise to you. Let your name be highly exalted in our lives. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Announcement before we share the grace and go. So tomorrow, we will continue in this manner. Please bring what you have planned, your own plan, your goals, your desires, things you're pursuing. You must have things you're working continually towards to achieve daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, half yearly, and in the year. So we have tomorrow, I've 
theme focus is in the beginning it was not so so put down your objectives plans that you have put down for the year your things you desire and then also put down the 13 points listed in the new beginning teaching you can go to a youtube channel and listen to it again the 13 points and put down against each anything that is short because in christ jesus our divine jubilee god has given us everything listed in those 13 points so tomorrow we will align our lives hallelujah <laughs> Tomorrow is the day of adjustment, a day of shift. Things must shift in your life to the proper space that God has created for you, created for me. And that's what we mean by new beginning. The Almighty God will give you, give me, give us the blessings of the new beginning in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So that's our focus. In the beginning, it was not so. We'll continue with uh, the fasting and we'll meet at 6 p.m. I will share the guide uh, by the grace of God. Let us share the grace, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God. And the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me, follow you, follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. So we'll see you tomorrow. And testimonies, we'll have time also for testimonies. We'll have time, uh, create a little time for us to share. So feel free, because I know Jesus has done the great work, his great work in our lives. Glory be to God. So we'll testify to his glory and to the glory of God. God bless you, brothers and sisters. Bye-bye.